All right, Pisces, let's do a channeled message. We're gonna see what's coming in for you towards, towards, oh my goodness, here we go. Towards you. Hmm. A lot of you have, have got some sort of breakthrough coming in for you. Energy coming in for Pisces. Ooh, financial health. Some of you need to maybe look at your finances or some of you are needing to trust in some sort of movement or action that will be taken. This could have to do with your health. Okay, so I've got a lot of energy coming in. First off, some of you are needing to set some sort of firm boundary with someone that you have a lot of compassion and love for, um, this person could really look up to you. This person could think highly of you. You could have a lot of compassion and love for this person, but there could be something here where you're sacrificing yourself or sacrificing what you believe is true for you to make someone happy. There's also someone external to you that could be um, in some sense of self-reflection mode right now. This person could be thinking about some sort of reconciliation with you. That's just going to be for some of you. But again, we have something here with financial health and career. Needing to trust. Some of you could be growing something. Yeah, some of you have some sense of good luck coming in. When it has to do with your career, you're going to be blessed. There could be something that you're manifesting that's going to help you move forward. That's also going to help you not have so much on your plate. So what do I mean by this? Some of you could be manifesting something to do with your money or career that is going to shift and make the days seem lighter. So this could mean getting some of your workload taken off, completely shifting paths, completely shifting careers. Maybe it's not that significant. Maybe there's gonna be a shift coming in where you're needing to shift just departments. And once you shift departments, you realize, oh my goodness, we don't work as much over here. We get the days off that I need off, so this works perfect for me. There is going to be something shifting for you that's going to make things a lot more manageable is what I'm getting. Energy coming in for you. <clears throat> Feeling really lucky. Yeah, I just heard, no, I'm not lucky, I'm blessed, yes. So needing to remember that you're blessed. It isn't that you're lucky. It isn't that this is a season that's gonna go away. You are blessed. Okay, some of you are needing to express your needs when it comes to your career or something you're giving your energy to. Okay, there could be someone, I'm getting two things. There could be a family member who's missing you, someone who's wanting to see you, talk to you. There could be some sort of challenge that's going to be overcome or, 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 or this could be a external lover. This could be someone who is missing you and you're ready for things to take movement forward and start building something. You know, a family doesn't necessarily have to mean children. It could just mean building something stable with someone and knowing that they have your back. Knowing that when life comes in and it starts to crumble, you have someone at home who's got you, who's going to help you pick up those pieces. So there could be someone external to you if we're looking at this in love where someone is wanting to come towards you, they're missing you. Um, there's there's wanting to have a conversation here. Whatever has been the issue in this dynamic, it's been learned and we're ready to get over this. So if there's been hard feelings, if there's been harsh perspectives, if there's been things that are getting in the way, it's making it easier to get over it. And sometimes we need time to get over it. Sometimes we need distance and space to be able to get a different sense of clarity. See something in a different way. See something in a different truth. And I feel like that could be what's happening here if that is a person. But again, there could be something here where you're needing to express your needs. 
when it comes to what you're needing in your career, some of you could be sabotaging something in your life. Some of you could be, I'm going to say it, have an issue with respecting your own boundaries. So what do we mean by that? Or what do I mean by that? Some of you are having a problem with not only saying what you're going to do or placing a boundary, but demanding it. So if you say you're not going to pay A, B, C, or D, if you say that you're not going to show, show up for that person or answer that phone call, there is recognition here that you tend to back down on your word when it comes to your boundaries. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm getting a sense of a uh, lack of worth in that. It's kind of like you start asking yourself, are my boundaries too firm? Are they too harsh? Are they in a sense of perspective where it's healthy? Am I just being mean? Is this what's best for all of us? I think you're questioning your boundaries so much so that you're starting to doubt yourself. And if you haven't noticed, there will be recognition, maybe after this reading, that you have had a tendency to sacrifice yourself when it comes to your boundaries. You're willing to hurt your own hand for others to eat. If that means you have to go hungry, so be it. And that can be your very feminine energy, Pisces. It doesn't matter if you're a male or a female, but your feminine energy, that part of you that wants to give, that wants to love because you want to feel that back in return, could be a little bit on overdrive, so much so that they're telling you, hey, listen, we need to recognize where we may be overgiving because we want to feel what we're giving. Where are you giving and then expecting something in return? Because if you're expecting something in return, it's more of a transaction, not necessarily <clears throat> something you're giving from the heart. And that could be an issue. And that's how disappointments come about. So needing to take a step back, reevaluate, seeing blessings coming in, but also maybe recognizing that there are some things that you have been sacrificing and sabotaging when you've known better. But there could still be a little bit of, but do I deserve better? Is better out there? Am I being unrealistic? And this could be in multiple things. <clears throat> this could be how you're expecting people to show up for you. You know, maybe there's an energy here where you have the same standards for you and other people, but maybe other people are having a hard time matching those standards. And now you're at a place where you're like, okay, well, maybe I should drop my standards or, or my boundaries a little bit and see what that brings me in. But we have boundaries because we've learned things and we've learned them so much that we don't want to go through them again. And I feel an energy of if you start sacrificing your boundaries or if you continue to make this a habit, you're going to continue to notice low energy <clears throat> you're going to start noticing low vibration connections and situations. You're going to start noticing that you're going through experiences that you've already been through, you've already conquered, you've already dealt with. Why? Because there's still something inside of you that needs to be like, no, I'm done. This is my boundary. This is firm. There is no ands if or buts. There is no question after of, but what if they, but what if this? But maybe, no. Interesting. Okay, let's get some more. What's going to be the overall energy coming in for Pisces? Really using your intuition to guide you. Some of you are going to be seeing blue birds as a sign of transformation for you. Some of you are losing faith or losing trust with some sort of financial security. Structure, wanting to build a foundation, balance, illusions, not seeing things clearly, resisting or fearing some sort of new. Again, so this could be so many different things. There's something here that you're either wanting to build or that somebody's wanting to build with you, but things are not being seen clearly. There could be a sense of resistance 
or maybe even clinging to the things that are no longer working, knowing that you need a change. But some of you could be ignoring the change. Some of you are in your comfort zone and you're trying to talk yourself into either relocating, moving on, having some sense of progress that you know you need. 888. Some of you, this has to do with a Leo or somebody with A. Their name first, middle, last could start with that. This could mean so many things. Again, this could be you needing to shift, you needing to express what you're needing and believing in your good luck, believing that if you have the courage to move on and to progress and to have, have the courage to bring change, to get out of your comfort zone, something will balance out for you. Now, if this is someone external to you, they're wanting to build some sort of foundation, but they could have a tendency to live in a fantasy world and really resist the new, resist leaving their comfort zone. Yeah, for some of you, this is some sort of family or something of that sort. There is some sort of emotional distance or void why is this coming up if this is an external person? Because they're watching you. <laughs> trying to figure you out. <clears throat> trying to figure you out. Keeping tabs on you. <clears throat> some of you are feeling really emotional about some sort of change. It could have to do with your security, your home. Could be something you're committed to. You could be in a place where you're gathering information and you're trying to be very precise. It's like you're trying to figure something out and you want all the answers before you take that movement, take that action, but they're telling you you're not going to get it. You're going to have to trust and have faith that if you're feeling called to do something, to go for something, it's for a reason. There could be someone envious of you as well. Somebody could be envious of your progress. This could be someone who, again, doesn't like change. They could have a very codependent personality. This person is very slow when it comes to learning lessons and understanding, I feel like life in general, but I feel like this person keeps a very close eye on you. Whoever this is has been seeing that you've been healing. There could be communication of you traveling as well and something to do with your financial abundance. This person, you could be getting some sort of news about this person during Mercury retrograde or they could communicate with you. <clears throat> Yeah, whoever this is, this person, again, could have a very envious emotion towards you, but they could be seeing some sort of truth. Um, for some of you, this person is a little jealous, jealous that you do have this energy of balancing your masculine and your feminine, and they feel like that's a little intimidating. Now, this could be a friend, a family member, a lover. Hell, this could be Bob from down the street. Wait, I mean, it can be anyone. What I'm getting is that you're going to find this out in the far future, but I feel like this is someone who's a little jealous of you. Jealous because they feel like you have something figured out. There is going to be some sort of honesty coming from this person in the future where I feel like they're going to tell you, you know what, I see the truth. And the truth is, yes, my past is affecting my future. Now, this could have been someone at one point that you looked at them and said, listen, you are the problem. And I've had someone do that to me before. And I was like, wait, what? I am not the problem. And then I went home and was like, oh my God, I'm the problem. I feel like you could have done that to someone. And this person could be seeing that they have a tendency to play the victim when in reality, they got a message of bad news. And the message of bad news is, is that they are clinging to things that have not been working, that has been outdated. And it's not getting them anywhere. This person is wanting to build some sort of new foundation. So they could want to discuss with you about that, wanting to form some sort of new pattern. Um, this is going to be someone who's going to want to seek advice from you. Now, here's the thing. Just because someone seeks advice from you does not mean that they're going to be in your life forever. But it could be someone who is like, you know what, Pisces... 
you're not a yes person. You're not going to go around and be like, yeah, 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 that's a good idea. When you know good and well that you walk away, you're going to be like, oh my God, that was a horrible idea. You're not going to agree with something that you don't agree with. Okay, what do we have? Hold on. What is going to be the overall energy that Pisces has got to deal with coming up? I just heard confusion. Confusion maybe around your foundation. And having to choose a path. So again, you guys have a, a choice to make. What do you want to do? Where do you want to go? Again, I feel like there's going to be something you're going to feel you're giving your time, your energy, keeping space for. And it's going to feel... I'm seeing the five of pentacles, so I feel like there's going to be a lack of energy. If it's money, you're going to be like, why am I not feeling like I'm as abundant as I want to be? If it's a relationship, you're going to be like, why am I having such a hard time feeling fulfilled in this? Is it them or is it me? But needing to make a choice from that. Now, you could need to make a head over heart decision when it comes to this, and that could be the blockage here is making a final decision and again getting out of that comfort zone feeling unsure when it comes to balancing something out some of you this could be a wish fulfillment or something you've hoped for unsure if you're going to take the offer so again it's like do you want to open yourself up to growth to maybe more abundance to more money with that comes growth. With that comes new experiences. With that maybe comes you learning something completely different. I see you having a stuck energy. If this is a person, I see you saying, can I grow with them? Can we balance this? Can I look back and be like, yes, this was my wish fulfillment? Because if not, I don't want to waste my time. I'm willing to build, but what are we building here? I see you taking your time to look at it. And maybe there's going to be a moment where you're feeling a little stuck, but that stuckness is giving you the opportunity to see everything from a different perspective. And I feel like that's what you're going to need to completely thrive in this scenario, in this situation. And a lot of you, this has to do with passion, creativity, feeling like you want to create something, but feeling unsure. Again, it has everything to do with building. Yeah, and collaboration. Some of you... There's going to be someone approaching you. They could offer you something. Be careful of taking an offer from someone where, it, where it's an indulgence energy. So if you know that this is the player around the street, whether it's a girl or a boy, it does not matter. If you know that they're a player, if you know that people talk about them in that form and fashion and they don't have any staying power, recognize the short-term wish fulfillment energy. So there could be someone coming towards you who's very attracted to you. This person feels like you're a lot of fun, but this person could want to come in to have fun. Nothing more, nothing less. They could also be wanting to make someone jealous that they once had some sort of foundation or stability with. This person is coming in as a very practical and logical person, but I, I just, there's an energy here of, Teamwork ain't making the dream work. So, I feel like this would be someone who wants to come in, maybe spend a night with you, hang out, go party, chill, come over, make s'mores, chill by the fire, drink, and then they're going to disappear for like three to four months. And I feel like for some of you, it could be someone wanting to make someone jealous. Some of you, again, have someone coming towards you. This person could have kept you really confused. They could have kept you in some sort of illusion and maybe even heartbroken. 
this person could have some sort of secret revolving around their foundation, security, or home life. They could be waiting to take action towards you. They're feeling very curious, but there is an energy here waiting for their ships to come in, and they have a very scattered energy. This person sees you as someone who's very abundant, stable, and grounded. Someone who's very loving. This is definitely a past energy where you could have offered love to this person. But I'm seeing them leaving you out in the cold in some sense, form, or fashion. This person could be a guilty pleasure for you. And what's interesting is for some of you, there is like differences here. And there's even an energy of, do they even like me? I feel like they do like you, but I feel like this person has a very scattered energy. They do have intentions of coming towards you, but intentions are not action. So I feel like there's something here where you can feel this person thinking of you and tugging on your energy. And it's really fucking confusing because they're not making any moves. This person does not want to make any moves or let anything in their life get out of control. So they feel like right now it's best to just make very slow movement toward you. But there's an energy where I feel like you had to place a firm boundary. You didn't feel like you were getting what you wanted, you needed, you deserved. But I feel like you need to recognize that this person has a hold on you and it could be time for you to take your power back. I just heard the separation is going to be extended. Why? Why? Why is the separation going to be extended? Because they're guarded. They're holding their power. They're holding their power is what I was about to say. They're holding their patterns and they're blocking their heart chakra. They're protecting their security at all costs. So the reason it's going to be extended is because they're guarded and they still don't want to be vulnerable. And that could be the karmic challenge for them is for them to find their life path, for them to evolve with this so they can be rewarded. You could get some sense of communication or some sort of download about this person during Mercury retrograde here coming up. You could recognize how codependent this person is on escaping their reality, but not taking action towards a new reality. I feel like it was fated for you to meet this person, but I feel like you come into this person's life for them to see a different way of being. And there's an energy here where it could be time for you to move on. Again, recognize that you have a soft place in your heart for this person, but also recognize just because you like a book doesn't mean you should read it every single day over and over and over. Just because you love someone and you want to be with them does not mean that every night you should make a plate for them at dinner for them to not show up. You're allowed to love someone from a distance and keep space in your heart for them, but also say you can't have anything else from me unless you show up. So I am seeing that energy here. Them needing to learn their lessons. So the separation could be extended because they're fighting it. They're fighting it. And you're needing to focus on the desires of your heart. Breaking free and going in a new direction. It could make this person really angry because they have a lot of lust for you. But yeah, again, they're stuck in some sort of pattern. Needing to be willing to start over, whatever that means for them. Interesting. All right, Pisces. Let's get a final message for what's coming in for you. Needing to make sure you're resting. A lot of you are going to be overworking. Needing to listen to your gut. A lot of happiness is coming towards your towards you a lot of you are going to have a lot of people interested in you romantically as well again letting go of some attachment you've been thinking a lot and using your gut 
using your gut, recognizing that someone you were once attached to is maybe not doing the inner work. So you're letting go of the attachment. You're even being vulnerable with yourself on this because you're taking your mask off. So it's telling me that there's a sense of vulnerability coming out in you that could be hard. Vulnerable enough for you to say, you know what? Yes, I love this person more than I should have. They had a hold on me more than they should have, but it's okay because maybe they needed that love. Maybe they needed that part of me and I'm gonna get that back. But a lot of you are using your gut to let something go. And again, somebody's gonna be feeling really hostile and envious towards you because of some sort of cycle here being completed and it has everything to do with them being indecisive them not knowing what they want them not having the courage and the strength to go after something if they're going to stay stuck you're going to allow them to stay stuck having the strength to ba balance their feminine and masculine energy Allowing their self to open up to some sort of journey. They could be not allowing their self to be happy if this is an external person. Again, feeling really hostile and envious of the fact that you had the strength and courage to let something go that once had a hold on you. Recognizing that it's them. Recognizing they need to evolve. But that could be the karmic challenge for them. And you've stayed in this sense of confusion. So you... I'm telling you, some of you, this person's going to want to have some sort of communication with you. Now, communication doesn't always have to be like, hey, how are you? To me, this could mean like them going on text messages and like hearting a text message from six months ago and you being like, why the hell are you reading through those? Or them liking a picture or liking something you've posted or... There is going to be an energy here where they're going to make their self known, but still not as courageous as maybe you would be. Interesting. All right, my loves, we're going to leave this here. Have a blessed day, guys.